Hi Jumpstart friends, it's Miss Jen and today we are going to be doing a super cool and fun activity. We are going to be making our own animal face mask. So um, I'm going to go ahead and show you all of the materials we're going to be working with today. So today we're joined by Mr. Tiger and he's going to give us some inspiration on what our face mask should look like. So today I want to look like Mr. Tiger. Do you, do you want me to make a mask that looks like you? It looks like he does too. So we're gonna be making a tiger face mask and I'll show you the materials. So the first thing I'm gonna be using today for animal face mask is just a blank sheet of paper. So go ahead and grab that if you have a blank piece of paper or even just a piece of notebook paper that you can use. The second item is a pair of scissors. So um, make sure you have an adult or a guardian to help you with this step because scissors can be dangerous. Third material we will be using are just some markers or crayons. You can even use um, some color pencils if you have any. And that's going to be to draw the stripes in any color that you want. Um, I'm going to be trying to recreate a tiger face mask. So I will be using orange and black, but you can use any of the other colors you want for the stripes. And last but not least, I'm just going to be using some stickers to put on my face mask and this is optional, you don't have to. Um, you can just draw little stars or something. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to create our face mask. Okay, so first we're going to take our blank piece of paper and some scissors. But first what you want to do is fold your piece of paper in half like this. And no worry if it's not perfect, we're going to cut it up. So next, you want to draw a circle and we will be cutting out that outline. So I'll go ahead and show you how to do that. I'm going to draw a half circle and you can start from one end of the paper and just drag it on to the next side of the paper. So that's our semicircle. It's not perfect, but when we cut it out, hopefully it will be closer to a circle. Now I'm just going to go ahead and trace and cut along the circle that we drew, the semicircle. For circle, we're going to open this up and it should look like this. And now we want to draw our eyes, so wherever you want your eyes to be. So I'm going to draw a little dot here and another dot here. Then where my dot is, I'm going to fold that in half right at the center of where I drew my dot. And I'm going to draw another little circle like we did in the beginning. And so this is going to be a little smaller above the dot you drew. So a little circle and we're going to cut that out as well. So now that we have gone ahead and cut that out, we're going to open it up and as you can see we have one eye and we need to do the same thing to the other eye. So go ahead and repeat the previous step. So now that we have cut both of our eyes out, it's time to cut our mouthpiece out. So we're going to do the same thing. I want my mouth to be around here and I'm going to fold that in the middle. We already have the original line, so just fold that in the middle. And I'm going to draw a bigger half circle, a bigger demi circle. So it's going to be more of an oval actually. So it's going to go like this. And we are going to go ahead and cut that out as well. So I have Mr. Tiger here to help us out to get some inspiration. And the first thing I noticed about Mr. Tiger is his pink nose. So I went ahead and grabbed my pink marker and I'm just going to draw a pink nose like Mr. Tiger's here. So here's my pink nose and I can see that Mr. Tiger's mouth has a little stripe in the middle so I'm going to grab my black marker and draw that same line here and then just extend it from our mouthpiece that we cut out. So it should look like this and now I'm going to go ahead and start drawing on the stripes for Mr. Tiger. So Mr. Tiger has a lot of cool black and orange stripes so I'm just going to go ahead and draw fun stripes all around. They don't have to be exactly like Mr. Tiger. I'm just going to be using the same colors and I'm just going to draw random squiggly lines wherever you want. So if you want to draw a tiger as well, you can go ahead and follow. So 
So I went ahead and drew some stripes in and I actually want Mr. Tiger to have some purple stripes. So I'm going to take a purple color pencil and I'm going to fill in the black stripes that we drew. Okay, so I went ahead and filled in my stripes with a purple color pencil and you can use a crayon. So I actually want Mr. Tiger to have white fur. So I'm not going to color this in, but if you want Mr. Tiger to have a different color of fur um, or if you're drawing something else, feel free to color in the white spaces in this mask. But for now, I think I'm going to add some fun stickers to this. So for this, I'm going to be using some nice flower stickers. So I'm going to be adding that to Mr. Tiger wherever I want, wherever you want. You can add stickers wherever or draw some flowers. So I went ahead and added some flower stickers and then I added some smiley face stickers as well. And I'm pretty happy with my mask. I also drew some eyelashes. So you can go ahead and do that if you want. Um, but this is my final mask. Okay, Jumpstart friends, so here is my mask, and you can go ahead and make a lot of other different animal masks, whichever mask or animal you want to draw. This is my mask. Um, I can't wait to see yours. Uh, please make sure to send us images of your lovely mask, and I can't wait to see you in our next Jumpstart session. Bye, friends.